for joining me today. I'm gonna to be making some uh, frugal bread maker bread. I have all the ingredients on hand and it's gonna be really delicious. Thanks for joining me. So this is a very frugal and easy to make bread. It's, a, it's delicious. It's a white bread that I make in the bread maker and it comes out perfect every time, whether you bake it in the bread maker or the oven, it always comes out really good. So this recipe calls for um, four and a half cups of bread flour, one half cup of water, uh, three tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of dry milk. Now I substitute my dry milk for um, non-dairy creamer and it works absolutely perfect. Uh, salt, one and a half teaspoons, two tablespoons of butter, and I cut these into little quarter tablespoons or half a tablespoon, I guess, and two teaspoons of yeast. So I put these in the bread maker in the order that the recipe states and it comes out really good. Let me show you how I do that. First, I add the water, the half a cup, and it's, I actually put in warm water, not scalding water, but warm enough that it, you know, to the touch, it's warm. Then I add my flour. Then I add my three tablespoons of sugar. I add my two tablespoons of dry milk. My one and a half teaspoon of salt my two tablespoons of butter. And what I do is I take the quarters and I just put them in the corners of the bread maker, like so. And then I take my yeast, my two teaspoons of yeast, and I just pour those on top. Now I have the machine plugged in. All I'm gonna do is select the course. I just want a basic, so if I were gonna pick a different like wheat bread or dough, I would do that. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and move this back to a basic bread. Just like so. My cycle is three hours and 30 minutes because I do have a preheat on this particular bread maker. I like my crust a medium and I like it a basic bread. So all I'm gonna do at this point is just hit start. And that's it. The bread maker will take over. You'll hear it making some noise in just a few minutes. But right now it's actually going to start. Um, this should turn, there we go. I, I didn't hit the button, I guess. Anyway, uh, as soon as it starts, you can see it's preheating. I've got the basic cycle on medium. So as soon as it goes through the preheat cycle, then it'll actually start kneading the dough. So my bread maker has gone through the preheat cycle and now it's starting to knead the bread. So I just wanna show you, it's starting to break it up into little, little chunks and mix it together. And I'll show you what it does in the next few minutes when it starts to form a dough. So after adding a little bit more water, which I'm gonna just add another couple teaspoons, it's definitely turned into a dough. I like mine a little bit sticky. <clears throat> It'll, the more that it gets, uh, you know, turned into the dough, it'll, it'll change. But uh, this is actually more of what I'm looking for. This looks perfect. So I'm gonna let it go ahead and run its cycle. And now it's got two hours and 56 minutes to go. So I'll let it do its thing and I'll bring you back as soon as I'm ready to bake it. So I took my dough out of the bread maker after it went through the dough cycle, just so you can see how the dough looks. And I've kind of shaped it into a little loaf. And I'm going to put this in my loaf pan and for me, I'm just gonna throw this in the oven. I'm gonna turn the light on just so that it's in a warm place and I'm gonna let it rise and then I'm gonna bake it. So 
just wanted you to see how it looked rather than baking it in the bread maker today. So it's kind of a lazy day for this bread. Normally it's a lot bigger than this. I've actually let it rise in here a couple of hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and bake it. I don't know if it's because of the humidity or what's going on, but we're gonna go ahead and get this started. What's you up to there, mister? Nothing. Nothing. Just playing. I'm just going to get this bread out of here. Huh? I'm just going to get this bread out of here. I want to watch the TV. All right, hold on. Where did you put the Oh, I already put it up. Should I put the glass up? Yep. Oh, shit? Mm hmm I didn't like that. Where is it? So that is our loaf of bread that we made. It's going to cool here till a little later. And then right over here then. Come over here so they can see you. Say hi. I got a little helper here. He's going to he's going to be the sampler of the bread in a little while when it cools down. Good morning you two. I've got a little sampler here for my bread. This guy loves bread and butter. So we're gonna put a little bit of butter on the bread. Make sure you can see it. And my little grandson is gonna try out this delicious buttered bread. He loves bread and butter. And he's an expert at making bread too. He's made it many times in the bread maker, haven't you? All right, try a little bite and see what you think of it. Yay. Tell the audience what your honest opinion is. Uh, yama. It's yummy? You like it? Okay, don't eat like a goofball. Let, me, <laughs> let Grandma try it too. Let me see. Mmm, that is so good. Okay, we got one more little helper here. Come here. You want a bite? Yeah. No, not the butter. Hold on a second. Okay. Leave your mouth closed when you eat. All right, give us a true, a true sample. Okay, tell them if you like it. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah? All right, we got two goods. Give it a try, everybody. It's really good. It's really inexpensive to make, and it's really healthy knowing what goes into your food. Thanks for joining us. Please subscribe. Bye. Say bye. bye.